Most drugs are meant for medical use. These drugs are prescribed and prepared for particular problems by skilled and trusted hands. Someday, other hands may offer you drugs. You must decide. Everyone must decide. Drugs, use or abuse. Susan's father leads a happy, normal life because of drugs. Susan's father has a medical problem, diabetes. To stay alive and healthy, every day he must take a drug prescribed by his doctor. What are drugs? How do they help us with medical problems? Any chemical which affects the way the body functions is a drug. In medical use, drugs can help our bodies to function in a normal way. Some drugs can fight disease. Some can promote healing. And some drugs can relieve pain. Drugs, chemicals which affect our bodies, are also a part of the everyday world. Even coffee, tea, and coke all contain substances which have an effect on the body. Drinking too many martinis at one time can produce alcohol poisoning, which could kill the drinker. Cigarettes contain nicotine, which shrinks our blood vessels and makes our heart work harder. We keep dozens of ordinary household items out of the reach of small children because they contain chemicals, drugs which could severely affect and damage the body. Some are very strong. Mild drugs for medical purposes are kept out on the shelves at the drugstore where anyone can buy them. But even mild drugs must be used properly. Strong drugs are made available only at the direction of medical experts. Doctors, more than any other people, understand the working of the human body. They study and continue to study how the body reacts to different drugs. Stimulant is the term for any drug which speeds up a body function. Depressants work in just the opposite way as stimulants. Depressants slow down a body function. This patient is given a type of depressant drug to relieve the pain of a major operation. There is a special reason for great care in the use of many depressant drugs. If some depressants are given for too long a time, the body comes to depend on them. Drug dependence brings sickness and great pain when the drug is taken away. Skill and knowledge are required with the use of all drugs. The right drug, in the right amount, helps with medical problems. The wrong drug, the wrong amount, can cause great harm. Not every medical problem requires care in the hospital. A doctor may prescribe drugs to be taken at home. A pharmacist will stock some of the drugs the doctor prescribes, just as they were prepared by the manufacturer. Others he prepares to the doctor's order. A pharmacist has studied many years to achieve the accuracy and precision his work requires. 
These drugs come with the knowledge of the doctor and the pharmacist, prescribed for a particular problem, prepared in exact amounts, given with precise instructions for a particular person. These drugs may be strong enough to injure or kill, but used correctly, they will help, not harm you. They come from hands you can trust. But can you trust these hands? Can you trust these drugs? You must decide. Why do people without medical problems take drugs? They have other kinds of problems. They want to feel better. Theirs may be problems of loneliness. Sometimes family problems. A problem of having nothing to do or perhaps of fitting in with a group which has already begun a drug habit. They call the changes in the way they feel getting high. Getting high may take their minds off their problems for a while, but they will find themselves with new problems. Used by persons who know nothing about them, stimulants and depressants called uppers and downers can do permanent injury to vital organs of the body, or they may even cause death. Most pills were designed for medical use, but some persons get high with drugs that have no medical use at all. Marijuana, LSD, heroin, LSD may be in liquid or pill.